evening all uh, a quick hopefully it'll be a quick video update I haven't uh, made a video for some time now probably a month I guess I did actually do a review of this little walkie-talkie that I bought and I am going to sell uh, I bought some batteries powered it up it worked perfect but I've been thinning out my crop of CB radios I'm not left with a lot sold my CRT to a guy uh, off Hatfield communications this morning CRT 2000 posted that off um, I've got a little polished well le alleged polished front faced um, uh, Harrier CBX there um, if anybody wants that I don't know 25 quid but it won't have a mic it works perfect but, but uh, unfortunately I've only got one mic I've got a Rotel clean Rotel 66 and old Midland I've got planet 2000 couple of meters here and there still with the price tag on that I acquired from Knights uh, about two two and a half three months ago not being used uh, a few bits and bobs um, <clears throat> I've got this item here that I paid 130 quid for I fired it up once and I get PLT PLT noise I think you'd call it um, it's got sideband on it and all sorts. It did get good reviews. In fact, I've never heard a bad review about the thing. I think it's a bit overpriced for 130 quid, but uh, got the box and the instructions and everything. So I may sell that for about 50 quid at a loss, a great loss. And I've got stuff everywhere. Uh, my man cave. Um, well, I'll tell the history of this at a, at a later date because it will be too, too long a video, but I initially built this very untidy place what's rammed with too much stuff thousand cc motorbike there uh, covered up electric bike there which i plan on doing a review of in the near future another bike there i recently bought because i'm going to buy a thousand watt motor uh, and build a battery out of these uh, 18650 cells that, that i've started collecting over there uh, brand new ones and second hand ones so i'll need about 60 of those all told and I've got to do a lot of head scratching to uh, to build the pack out of various series batteries and parallel batteries to equal the voltage that I need um, I've really got to have a clear out somehow in this place because it's got out totally out of hand uh, I've got bits of hi-fi equipment there big five foot high stack of equipment there uh, the wife decided the shed was coming down in the garden so I had to have all, all of the tools and everything which uh, admittedly do belong to me but she decided she wanted some deck in there so next to her summer house a diva den uh, or a woman cave um, I've, uh, I had to take the dismantle the shed and destroy it which was a bit of a shame um, I've got all my power tools in here and unless it's a very tiny cat oh look Fred in the shed too there look I'm watching on my TV I've got old hi-fi uh, uh, I've got an old sharp 8989 there works perfect very rarely ever do I use it so uh, that might come up for grabs probably for about 50 quid um, I bought one of those when I was 16 I'm nearly 53 it's my birthday in 16 days but uh, I bought one of those for my first ever week's wages and I think I think I paid about £116 for it. But uh, getting a bit of a collector's item, those are. So that'll be up for grabs. I've got a, a TV there with a, a VHS player in it. I've also got another one there. What's supposed to convert... Um, uh, it's never converted anything for me. You stick a videotape in it and plug it into a computer. And allegedly, with the correct software that you download, it, uh, it converts to file for you, your VHS to, to a video file. On your computer but I never had success with it uh, so basically this place is rammed but I've made this video this short video to let you know I'm still alive in a fashion I will be doing some reviews I haven't bought any CBs lately because I was getting too much stuff and I spent hundreds hundreds of pounds on uh, various radios over the last two years brand new 450 FT uh, Yaesu Kenwood 850 Kenwood, can't remember the model number, it's on my channel somewhere, I've since sold that and because I haven't got an amateur license it seems a lot of money sat there just to use a couple of channels of CB 
so I don't own any amateur equipment whatsoever. Uh, I've got my trusty old uh, Murphy Home Base. I've been speaking on it on and off for the last three hours to a couple of uh, friends that I've been talking to for ooh, 25 years. Good old Murphy Home Base, still working well. I got that from Knights uh, for Christmas. My daughter gave me some money. She gave me a car, half tank of petrol. Uh, she had a bit of trouble with this car one day with a clutch. Took it into her mechanic, the place she uses, she calls it her mechanic. He put the car right, she went out the next day and bought a, a newish, a very newish car. So uh, at Christmas it was, oh we are dad, here's your Christmas card, there's 50 quid in it. All I'll give you your car is, is the keys. So out of 50 quid I bought this from Knights, I don't know if the sticker's still on it. Is a sticker? No, I've, I've peeled it off. It was 50 quid from night second hand. Well, I always wanted one of these, and in the day I thought they were pretty rubbish as bleed over boxes and everything, but now there's not many people on in my area, it's not a problem. And it's not actually a bleed over box. I've got a Fidelity 3000 in home that's just been on eBay for 70, 75 quid, I think. It didn't sell, which I'm quite su surprised about because uh, I've got the original box the instruction booklet and the original warranty card with it from from day one when it was brand new um, right yeah so the purpose of this video is to let you know future coming videos if anybody's interested um, the odd thing will be related to CB but it won't be doing reviews I'm not going to keep buying CBs and then selling them at a loss and keep losing money all the time so uh, yeah there won't be much there won't be very much CB activity I'm sorry about that anybody who's interested um, I will do reviews I've got an electric bike to do a review on that I bought uh, it's called a connect Halfords are currently selling them for about 500 quid I bought one what was about 10 months old I paid 350 for it so I'm going to do a review on that in the next couple of weeks for anybody who might be interested in that um, forthcoming videos uh, that's certainly one thing anyway. Anyhow, the point of this video, the main point, is it is a quick reference to uh, Fred in the Shed. I'll give him a call out. Um, currently got him on the TV, look. And I recently went away. I'm sorry if this is a jiggly picture because I'm ha hand holding this camera. Uh, so it, you may feel a bit like you've been on a circus ride after this video. You might need, uh, you might need a sick bag. So I'll, I'll try and hold it as steady as I can. Anyhow. Oh, I've been to, um, it's my wedding anniversary yesterday, my wife's birthday, 12 years of marriage, been with her for about 14 years, I think it is, married for 12, my second marriage, first one only lasted 10 years, but I got married when I was young, I was 19, That's, uh, that was her excuse, after our 10 years of marriage, oh, we got married too young, there you go, that's another story, we won't go into that one. I'm doing my normal thing and diversifying into a load of rubbish. But anyhow, I've been away for the weekend, just come back a couple of days ago. And out of boredom, um, I, I, I go on YouTube because the wife spends hours out down the shops for getting handbags and shoes that she doesn't doesn't need. So I'm me and the doggy are left in the caravan. So to pass time, I always take a laptop or iPads, laptops, uh, as much entertainment as I can. And uh, I happened to look on Fred the Shed, Fred the Shed, Fred in the Shed 2's channel. Uh, he puts his electrical bits and bobs on that. There's Fred in the Shed, which is CB radio and such like. And then there's Fred in the Shed 2. And he puts this sort of stuff on there. I hope he doesn't mind me putting this on. Uh, it is sort of like copyright infringement, but I'm sure he won't mind. So anyhow, I, I sat there and scratched my head. I thought, oh yeah, I've got things what will run off 12 volts. Uh, so, so I'm doing this. I'm hoping sh I'm hoping Fred watches this and gives me a comment. Voila! Here we go. You're not going to be impressed. It's still in the Frankenstein stage. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Anyhow, I went on uh, eBay. I haven't really bought much from China. I watch lots of videos regarding different ele electronical components and that that sort of thing. Uh, with interest, I'm not. Uh, electrically minded my my skills are very limited my wife could well I don't know actually she could put a plug on something I'm, I'm a bit more advanced than putting a plug on something but I'm not very advanced at all now, that noise in the background is me fan eater because it's in, in England at the moment 
it is very late it is 2 55 a.m. on on Thursday night so it's Friday morning 5 to 3 in the morning anyhow I sat there watching these videos that, that Fred in the shed to that Fred had put on um, basically he's gone the whole nine yards got himself a little solar kit uh, for his garden shed and then he's decided to run some lights um, some some little lights lighting his trees and then then one thing leads to another anyhow I thought oh I wouldn't mind getting a solar panel and uh, a solar charger and all that sort of stuff so while I had nothing to do I, I decided to spend some money uh, I never went to the shops to get myself any handbags or shoes like the wife um, so uncannily I didn't do it to copy Fred I got this picture this is a Frankenstein model at the moment this is temporary the reason it's temporary is because out of most of the stuff I've ordered, I've got 90% of it. I'm still yet waiting for a 12 volt timer. Uh, to, that may come tomorrow. It may come next week. Who knows? Who knows with uh, eBay? Um, anyway, this is not the control I ordered. I ordered a kit, a complete kit, and the day it was supposed to be delivered, it's from um, Newton Abbott in Devon can't remember the name of the company I'll try and sort a picture out while I'm talking hopefully it will come on your screen this charge controller uh, wasn't the one it was a, an oval shaped type one it, it the USB sockets there were actually underneath where you, or on the top where you couldn't see them so anyway I, they sent they sent me an email to say it won't be the one in the picture uh, we'll, we'll give you an upgraded model. It's a 20 amp model and I'll send them an, e an email back saying well as long as it's got an LCD screen and that it I should it, it will be fine if it hasn't it will be returned So uh, when it came I was astonished to find hey, hey Fred, it's the same one as you've got now, I didn't do it on purpose to copy you, but uh, they're very calm. I've looked on YouTube and they're a very common unit probably disguised in other names models whatever, but Basically, there's a lot of them about. There it is. The sun's not out at the moment because it's five to three. Well, it's three o'clock now, so I'm yabbling on. Um, I've very crudely set up two batteries, and this is totally the wrong way to do it before anybody leaves any comments. I did have a leisure battery about a year and a half ago when I bought a big van, and I also bought a thousand watt inverter, pure sine wave. I had no need for it when I sold the van um, shortly afterwards. So I sold it at a loss, a little bit of a loss, compared to what I'd paid for it brand new. So ideally I could do with a leisure battery. At some point in the future I will get a leisure battery. Got a brand spanking new car battery, paid 31 quid for it, 45 amp power. And I've got another one at the back there, I've just scrapped a car. Still got loads of life left in it, it's not an old battery, that's about 55 amp hours. I've crudely connected them together. There's not, not big amps being pulled out of these things. Um, I've got my controller board there, I've got a watt meter which isn't measuring all the wattage or all the ampage or anything else, it's only measuring what's coming out of that socket. Um, I've been at this most of the day because I've had to drill holes through the wall, run cables up the garden, I can't show you because it's dark. Um, I've crudely placed my solar panel in the garden and I move it around as the day progresses. Um, to catch the sunlight or the cloud light in, in, in this case and I just thought I'd show you this Fred I had a Rossi picture it's 3D so as you move around it's sort of like I don't know if you'll get the effect through a camera that you do in real life and I thought it would actually look better than it does but every time I've drilled a hole for something the plastics come away at the front and made it look absolutely horrible so it looks rubbish but that's only a temporary Frankenstein monster as I say I've got about another three components to come yet so if I crudely wire it to this board here get the wiring all sorted uh, then I'll get a nice control panel and, and mount it all correctly um, I've got a few plans of how to do different things but at the moment today I've charged my iPad I've charged two phones off the USB socket I've charged an Xbox controller um, yeah, I've charged a few things, and um, I also fitted this, uh, I had some leftover LED, and this is the weird thing. Um, 
that's running off the car batteries for the last phew, five hours or so. I don't know what it pulls. I didn't run it in line with, with my uh, with my meter. I was otherwise I could tell you how many watts or amp hours. It, it, it milli, that's uh, running off the mains. It would probably look blue in this light, but it's very 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 bright. That's an LED panel heat, uh, heater panel light. Uh, so anyhow, Fred, this one's for you, mate. This video. I'm sorry, I'm going on now, and I'm going on tremendously, but. Um, I got the inspiration from watching your video and other people's videos, so if it all goes bang, I'm blaming you. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's kept my mind occupied. Uh, I've had quite a busy day. Move, progressing slowly. I haven't gone to your extent of doing buzz bars for the chocker block connectors. Um, you're definitely a better engineer than me. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have even thought of that. I'm a crude. Uh, chuck the wire in. Chuck the wire in and, and do the screw up. But either way, there's more stuff to come on this yet. So it's in progress as it were. Like I said, I'm waiting for my 12 volt timer. I've also sent, uh, it's the only item I've ever sent to China for. It's got a little readout and it's a circuit board basically warning you with a, an audible alarm when your batteries get below a, a preset voltage. But um, if I've got my facts right, I've set the voltage on this to 11.9 volts this thing so should I forget my lights and go to bed then hopefully this thing should automatically disconnect the lights from the battery when it gets to 11.9 volts if I've done if I've got got it all correctly thought out in my mind but there you go look it's the same uh, same controller but as I say there's loads about isn't there but, so thanks for the inspiration and your time making your video and I'll try and edit this thing and uh, I've reduced the quality on my camera it's a bit confusing this thing and my software that I use is called Sony Vegas and that's very confusing because when it comes to codecs and your bit rates and everything else I, I have to scratch my head to the point where I want to bang my head um, so hopefully it'll work and the, the picture will be watchable so cheers Fred if you've unged out this much cheers mate and I'll try and keep the next one a lot shorter than this one so you don't bore the all the living daylights out here and anybody who's still subscribed to my channel thank you very much and i'll say 70 freeze and good night or good day whatever it is where you live when you're watching this it's not well it's uh three minutes past three yeah going to meet me old me old coffee clock there look under a blue light so i've done something right anyhow because uh everything's working there's no sparks or, or burning smells but it's been going now for about five hours i guess um, so hopefully when I've done the finished product it won't the wiring won't be as neat but you can't see it uh, it's very very in its very very crude stage but I'll tell you the reason I started building all this was because I've had this fish tank here since before Christmas five months ago got the little bridge at the bottom got the nice blue gravel little plant I've got a pump in there pump and filter and the before I bought any of this tackle I don't know why I had this illusion, why I had this brainwave, but I thought if I get a car battery, solar panel kit, if I get a small heater for the fish tank, I could get a couple of tropical fish in there for my man cave. But I went on eBay and if anybody can help me out on this I'd appreciate it because I can't find it. I was under the illusion that you could probably get a 12 volt um, fish tank heater. But I've looked everywhere, I can't find one. Now yeah, somebody can say, oh get an inverter mate, run it off 240. But the I have got an inverter, but I wouldn't trust to run the thing all night to be fair. Um, it's not a pure pure sine wave one. It's a, it's a 350 watt continuous power, 500 watt peak power black power inverter. I don't know if it's a Mickey Mouse one. Well, I've had it three or four years. I don't know if it's a good quality one, but I wouldn't fancy it. It does work. I, I've run lamps off it and all sorts of things, but yeah, I don't know if it, I wouldn't be able to go to bed at night leaving this on, um, just in case it went kaput. If I spent a lot of money on one, a pure sine wave one, um, then it wouldn't bother me. I did have another brainwave of getting one of these, uh, what the uh, reptile people use. It's like a flat a flat pad uh, heat mat and putting it underneath the tank 
possibly I could get a 12 volt one of those and then I'd have to get um, a thermostat wouldn't I but I'll, I'll sort this one out I'll sort this one out but it'd be nice to see a couple of little I can't put loads in there because it's not a big tank but it, it would be nice to see a few fish what walloping about and I can fit a little 12 volt strip light under there can't I to light it up uh, anyhow on that note I'll say 70 freeze to everyone Fred, I hope you watch this video and leave a comment. Good or bad, I'm not bothered with what you say, mate. Um, you won't find it educational, certainly, because you're far ahead than what I am in, in the way that you work and what you do. But if you can get any entertainment value out of it, brilliant, and anybody else. And like I say, all my subscribers, take care. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm going to be doing a, a review on an electric bike. You may not be interested, or you might be. And when I come to buy my 1,000 watt hopefully a thousand watt uh, front wheel for my other bike there the 26 inch one uh, I'll be building battery packs and all sorts of stuff whether it works out or not who knows but I shall try it keeps my mind occupied that's a good thing makes you know makes you think blah 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 anyhow good night all take care 73s 88s catch you soon